Welcome back to Wolong Fallen Dynasty. In this video, we are going through how to find the Taoist keys so that we can open up this hut that you can find in the hidden village. The very first thing I recommend doing is talking to this NPC because there's an issue that people have had. If you don't talk to this NPC before you pick up the keys, sometimes the keys aren't actually counted. Like it's basically as though they don't register. But I've seen a couple of people say that if you go into your inventory and you favorite the key, then unfavorite it, it kind of fixes the issue so you can then hand them in. But in order to start this one off, if we go up to the battle flag, there are two keys we need to grab and then there are a few different resources we need to pick up. You should have the resources by now anyway. So the very first key you'll find, the one that lets you in the front door, if we go to travel, and we go over to part number three, the main battlefield in search of the immortal wizard. If you make enough progress, you get towards the very end of the main battlefield just before the boss fight. As you are going up the hill, there's going to be this little rat enemy. Take that down and then on the left hand side, there's going to be a little sort of cove that goes in and you can pick up the very first key there. That key is going to get you into the first part of the hut and then to get through the back door and outside to where all the good loot is, you're going to need the back door key and in part 5, the main battlefield Wars Flames Blaze Fiercely is where you are going to find that second key. So again, similar to the first key, right towards the end of this main battlefield, you're going to be in the sewers and you'll know that you're in the right place by looking at how wide this area is. There's a couple of enemies in there, but on the left hand side, there's this little like secret passageway. Well, I say secret, there's this little passage off to the left hand side, a little corridor. You go down there and you are going to find the back door key there. So now we have both of the keys, what we are going to do is make our way back down to the NPC over here and we are going to talk. And after some dialogue, you're going to see that the hermit gets really happy. And I believe we can now open the door. And inside we are going to have some bronze jewel swords. They've got no upgrades to them, but they are a three star rarity. I'm not sure if the loot's going to be the same for everyone. And once you've exhausted that dialogue, if you come to the back door, you can then open it. And outside, we are going to have a few chests. But if you try and open them, it says that you are unable to open any of them at all. If we quickly jump up here and we go over, we can grab this loot. So we have a dragon vein essence. And then over here, we have someone just sitting there. And then from that little island thing where the person was sitting, if you carry on jumping across, you'll see this part here. Then if we jump up this chalky wall, over here we have just mechanisms and stuff it looks like but if we go here we have some more loot and that's going to be a jewel fragment those are used for embedding your gear and then if you jump up on here you can get yourself back into the hidden village that's all the loot there is and if we go back over and we talk again okay so the very first one is she's going to want a fire pot and that's going to give us the handmade key. And then we need to talk again. And then the second, she's going to want some anti-freeze soil. So that's now two keys we have. And there are three chests. So go through the dialogue again. And now she wants a mystic crane. So we hand that over. And there we go. We have three handmade keys. And then it just goes back to the previous dialogue. So now if we go into the backyard again, open the chest on the left. We have some chi crystals, chi fragments, which is going to help with leveling up. The middle one, we are going to get some rank 7 and rank 8 leather and steel. And then the third one on the right hand side, we are going to get some four star pieces of gear and a throwing knife. If you are in need of any of the resources, you can buy a mystic crane or some anti-freeze soil from the blacksmith. And then if you are after a fire pot, if you go to the nearest battle flag and you go into the supplies tab, you can buy a fire pot from there. So that was where to find the keys to open up the terrorist hut in the hidden village in Wolong Fallen Dynasty and how you get your hands on all the chests and all the different loot and stuff available. That is also going to do it for this video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about Wolong Fallen Dynasty in the comments and check out this video if you want to see other content on the channel. I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.